they want to play the sympathy card so you have empathy for them and they know that you are high empath and they're low empath that's the normal diagnostic criteria for a narcissist they have the low empath and they notice people that do have the high empath here's my sob story my guilt story here it is for you i'm going to reel you in and i'm going to be very kind to you because i'm going to use you as an object i'm going to use you as ammunition i'm going to use you for what i want and that is to further my career once i have gotten that from you i can now discard you like this if that is what i want to do and i don't care for you why because i have the low empath it's a very very complex intricate situation but i'm sure many of you watching this can definitely relate i know that i can when it comes to narcissists in your life you've probably met one or two in your life most definitely hey guys it's marad marad hope you guys are doing well today if you haven't already click that button for daily and consistent content hourly and consistent content head over to my instagram subscribe to the channel click that button guys because if you have guys have not subscribed you are wasting your time so click that button guys and do subscribe to the channel i would massively appreciate it and let's just get straight into this video guys because we've got a lot to talk about so for those of you who don't know what's going on johnny depp amber heard actors actresses they were in a relationship together and the sun article basically accused johnny depp of being a wife and they johnny depp have now decided to take them to court and he's doing it with his chest and i'm very glad that he is because the sun i feel can be ex well not can be they are extremely toxic extremely toxic with how they present stuff they have no morality when it comes to people they degrade people it's just disgusting and vile so johnny depp today claimed he decided to divorce amber heard after she defecated in their marital bed as a prank now for those of you who don't know what defecated means she was basically excruciating feces on the bed and thought it was a joke a prank that is disgusting i don't want to be waking up next to my partner and I'm seeing that in my bed as a prank. Somebody, are, are you mad? Like, I don't understand what's going on here. As he denied it and said that she had actually him throughout their marriage. As a series of newspaper stories alleged and said that it was inconceivable that he would ever hit a woman, citing his southern upbringing and saying he considers um, chivalry very important. He said it is a strong and central part of his moral code, using her of being a calculated, narcissistic, sociopathic person who married him to only further her career. Guys, this is awful. What I find very interesting about this is that we actually are going to now have John, before I get into the more details, where we're going to have a lot of Johnny Depp's exes, like Winona Ryder, coming into the fold to defend him. Note that Johnny, Johnny Depp's exes are all going to support him and say that he has never been whereas Amber Heard has a track record, the key word is track record of people who have a it's all there. And this is what narcissists try to do. They try to clean up their public image because that is what they care about the most. Hence why marrying the guy to further her career, which definitely worked. And the private image is very different to the public image. However, regardless of how much work they put into to change the private to the public, what they say about narcissistic individuals and people, and believe me, I've learned all of this in my degree, cognitive you know, neuroscience and clinical psychology. What sticked with me a lot when it came to narcissists as individuals is number one, people use overuses the term 24 7 and they saturate it not everybody's a narcissist guys you have to look at the, di the diagnostic cr um, criteria but number two is with narcissists something that really st stuck, um, stuck with me a very, a very interesting quote is that they may have a public clean image but always look at their track record because the track record their past screams volumes of people that they have done xyz stuff to and that is all there for amber heard but that is not there for um, Johnny Depp to the point where we're having Johnny Depp's exes who are coming forward who are going to defend him and they are now going to be seen in court. So this is going to be a very long situation guys. Depp also cites another incident in which she repeatedly in the face on a private jet in 2014 and claimed that she him again as he fled to the toilet. The thing Johnny Depp has done a lot and drinks a lot. So that is the case that they are going to use to justify as to why they could use this article. That is what the Sun are going to do. That is their ammunition. That is their case. That is their power. That is the side on court that they were coming with. Um, Amber Heard once told his former head of security, Mr. Jerry Judge, that the actor was a fat old man and she did not know why she married me. The lawyers alleged that Heard had two extra marital affairs or extra relationship affairs with Elon Musk and James Franco. Wow. Meanwhile, Heard's lawyers revealed messages in which he called himself the monster, which she claimed was alter ego, but he was claiming he is saying that the monster is death, the death that he could reach because of the drugs that he's taken. He also denied any physical altercation with the crew member he was accused of attacking in 2017 on the set of his film City of Lies. And we can see, you know, she's there with her sister, with her lawyer as well, all walking there. We can see him in the depth started his account on his of his relationship with Heard by describing how he first met her when she auditioned for The Rum Diary and later reconnected with her when they were promoting the film. In one of his witness statements filed as part of his libel case against his son's publisher, News Group, um, she, was a, she was then extremely friendly to me and keen to tell me about the breakup with her former partner that she had recently gone through. Again, this is what they do. 
For example, at the time she re repeatedly told me how much she admired my films. However, later in our relationship, she admitted that she had never seen any of my films. Bang. T t see what I'm saying? Planting the seeds. Now, what I'm saying about Amber Heard, it's all allegedly, of course, um, but we can, I'm taking it from the information that is being displayed. Depp said the time together was incredibly unhappy. She is calculating, diagnosed, borderline personality. She is sociopathic. She's a narcissist and she's completely emotionally dishonest. I'm now convinced that she came into my life to take from me anything worth taking and then destroy what remained of it. Remember what I just did? Take it and discard. Depp said that the pair sought the help of a marriage counsellor who says he confirmed to me that they heard had a borderline toxic sociopathic personality disorder. Even qualified therapists are saying this. And I already have an inclination and I'm the one who has a degree in clinical psychology and cognitive neuroscience. So mine is just a degree, but when you have qualified therapists saying this as well, it's a, it adds more substance to this entire situation. According to Depp's statement, Heard continuously belittled him and called him a fat old man. He said he found it devastating and heartbreaking to hear Heard call him a horrible father. In addition to the alleged verbal, Depp said the pair were on a private chartered flight. The keyword is private, it's not in public, it's in private, guys. Private chartered flight in late 2014 or 2015 when Heard became verbally aggressive. He, he said she called him a PUSSY and spineless for running away. From towards the back of the plane to get away from her, she followed me into the plane's bedroom and again in the face and the head. I pushed away I pushed her away from me onto the bed. I then grabbed a pillow and locked myself in the bathroom where I slept for the duration of the flight, he wrote in a statement. Johnny Depp described a period of time in Australia in March 2015 when he says Amber Heard his finger, an injury which he says Depp said um, Amber Heard did not sustain any injuries at all that weekend. I couldn't believe that we had come to this. I wondered what more she could do to me. So this goes on and on and on guys. Wow. This is really intense. We're also going to see Dan Wooten also in court as well because he's related to the son. And, you know, I'm glad that Johnny Depp is doing this. He has the money to do this as well, which is even more great because this stuff is not cheap, guys. It's obviously very, very expensive. Also reports of, um, of Johnny Depp saying that allegedly um, she would take away his medicine and therefore he will obviously have kind of reactions to it, negative reactions, and it will make him weak at some points. And she would do this as a kind of a punishment tactic. All of this is reading... <laughs> textbook narcissism guys keyword is textbook this is what the lawyers were using as ammunition against him to be honest with you from an unbiased perspective that is a good case to come at and that is a very strong case to use that you know the person has a high toxic that could have been used to make him create his alter ego or a, you know intoxicated inebriated state to harm somebody i don't believe that obviously but that is a good case to use as the other side guys it definitely is it's a strong case however basically joined up i feel like exposed her for filth, dragged her as well, and is dragging the son, and so far so good for him. He is incredibly calm throughout the situation, it's also been reported, and it's very hard. You have Vanessa Paradis and Winona um, Ryder who will be literally supporting him um, and giving evidence in the past situation and basically saying that he's never done anything, any of this to me at all, at all, completely. And it's very, very interesting because this is going in sheer detail about all of the situations that Depp has been through with people here and there. He obviously isn't somebody who is non-violent. He's had situations here and there. Justice will come. You have to fight for justice. And this is extremely hard to even see your abuser in the room. The mental toll, the PTSD that this comes with, that it carries you with. It's tremendous, it's traumatic, but you have to do it to fight for justice, to fight for your name, to clear your name. Because so many years, people thought Johnny Depp was the one because it's easier to see a man in that position than a woman, of course, but it can also happen the other way as well, guys. It definitely can. Um, it's very long. It goes into a long ass conversation about what they've done. If I sit here and talk about it, I'll be here for like 30 minutes, guys. And I feel like that is just way too long. In a statement, Depp claimed that Amber Heard often intervened and withheld medicine from me whilst the pair were on the island, which he described as one of the cruelest things that she had ever done. He told the court how Heard would deny him medicine, leaving him sobbing like a child on the floor and having the heebie-jeebies and start shaking and having stomach cramps. This was also going on about an alleged incident that took place on a private plane. Notice how this all takes place in private situations, but in public, it's completely different. The face changes, the personality changes, because you don't... Public shame is kryptonite to narcissistic individuals. They do not want public shame. They will go absolutely quiet, they will revert, they will change. If they're threatened with that, or if they get public shame, the image completely changes. You have to fabricate a story. And this is what I feel like allegedly Amber Heard is most definitely doing. Amber Heard's movie with James Franco sparked as a, a binge that put Johnny Depp in the hospital. Miss Watts continued that Dr. Kipper started treating Amber Heard for anxiety and indeed referred Miss Heard to another medical person. She said Dr. Cameron wrote in medical notes, JD is very threatened by career, particularly any kind of romantic scene she has to do. Her movie with James Franco precipitated a binge that put Johnny Depp in the hospital. This is very, very confusing. There's a lot to this. is very complicated. You can't really put it all into one video, but long story short, Johnny Depp was basically exposing Amber Heard for the, the filth that she was doing, 
defecating, taking medicine away from you, the finger and stuff like this, all of this is there. You, Amber Heard has a track record of exes that have done stuff to her. And if you want me to do a video on that, I can definitely bring that out there. The, no, that she has done to them, sorry. And I can bring that video out to add more substance to this, but this is obviously a very complex, intricate situation. And it's just sad that this is what's going on. And in the last year or so, it's been brought to light about what Amber Heard has been doing. And it's interesting because narcissists will paint an image, they will create a story, but if everything comes to light, and they will do anything and everything to protect their public image. This is what they will do. They have no boundaries. They do not care about the relationship that they have with you. They need to protect themselves first because what, I said it ages ago, they do not have any empathy, especially when it comes to themselves. They definitely do not. Let me know your thoughts on when it comes to this video. It's a very serious, complex, intricate video. I'm keen to know all your thoughts. Comment down below, subscribe to the channel guys, and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.